that these are both also that of working one body. For the body of Christ is made up of different parts, just like our bodies. This finger can't say, I don't, I don't need you. This finger can't say, I don't need you. They all got a part. Same with us. You got a part to play, I've got a part to play. In whatever you do, you do it to the glory of God. And accept it. Be done by the Spirit. And to be careful. Take heed unto yourselves. Get two bodies. You know what I'm listening? I do, I listen to a lot of preachers. But I learn something from what they say. And I say, Lord, is, is he saying something that, that I need to know? These are some of the, the things that the experience that you will go through to build up the spiritual what God has prepared for you and I. And then all that you do is to the glory of God by his spirit. And exactly what Zechariah says. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. And when we look at the children of Israel in the Old Testament, the only ones that had the spirit of God was the prophets. And that's why the children of Israel failed to keep the commands. And what happened in the Old Testament is happening today. You will fail. And the world is failing today. Exactly what happened. And the same when, the, when Jesus and his disciples, they couldn't keep what they were taught by Jesus. Why? Because they didn't have the Spirit. Until the day of Pentecost. And then they were able to keep the teachings of our Lord and Master, Jesus. You see how important it is that you rely on the Spirit of God. If they call it the way of their tour, it's nothing. This is where we need to wake up and to draw our attention to him, grow spiritually. And I pray that as we grow along that I can sit there and you can come up and stay and share our words. In whatever problem you have, he knows about it. I know because I've been through it. And when you experience the power of God in your life, he gives you that manna exactly what he said, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the son of God. Amen. To become a daughter of God. To become Amen. a child of God. Dear God, be strong. Be not discouraged when he chastises you. Because he's preparing you for something great. Amen. The world needs spirit through me. Men and women filled with the Holy Spirit and with fire. Where is it today? Today. The majority of the preachers that I hear today, they're talking about money, money, money. Such is the power of the God of this world. Yes, we all need money, we know that, God knows that. But we need him more than anything else in the world. Especially now. To condition us for what's ahead. To grow up in this perilous world, it's not going to get better. Look what's happening. Ray and I are just talking about this hurricane over in Florida. That's nothing compared to what's coming. The earth is going to be shaking very shortly, somewhere. Exactly what Jesus said, there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. He's talking about under the sea. Be prepared. Be prepared. But do not be troubled. For all these things must come to pass. For I am with you. Always. Even
you and I can be in right here. Praise God for his mighty power. Praise God for his mighty love. Praise God for making himself come down like you and I. He was born like you and I. He grew up like you and I. He was a man acquainted with grief and sorrow. All because of you and I. When he was on the cross, he could see you and I. Because he's God. See? I pray not for those that are in the world, but I pray for those that you have given to me. That they may be one. As he is one. And the prayer that I have always said, Jesus, real prayer, John 17. The glory that I had with you before I came. 